Michio Kaku spoke to News Nation, and this is a video on his official account. For the ones that can't distinguish what is AI from the real Michio Kaku, go to his account or watch News Nation. I'm going to react to interview. If you want to watch all of it without any breaks, without me giving my opinion that is free, don't come to my channel. Go directly to News Nation or Michio Kaku and you listen everything. Here I will react to break down what these shenanigans are saying. I want to start with the new images of 3i Atlas, not from our own NASA. Uh, we are still waiting on those. These ones are out of Spain. Some are noting it looks like this object has lost its tail after passing the sun. What's your take here? And if there's no tail, does that mean this is indeed not a comet? Well, I have my own point of view on this. And that is that this is a very old object perhaps 7 billion years old. And in 7 billion years, there's been a plenty of time to accumulate garbage. That's why, for example, the nickel content of the a comet is off scale. Its chemical composition is not what an ordinary comet should be. And that, I think, is because over 7 billion years, it's had plenty of time to ac accumulate different gases, different elements, different kinds of environments that it goes into. And I think that explains a lot of the mystery behind, behind the comet. So let's stop here and break it down. The new argument mainstream using Michio Kaku has to say or to justify the anomaly of nickel without almost no iron that is only existent with an industrial manufacture so human there's nothing out there nothing in nature that has only nickel with such a small amount of iron meaning that it should be made by humans another civilization that will be alien doing the same as we do here as an alloy but not by nature. But what they are trying to turn around as it didn't glue on the wall, it didn't stick, guys. They threw to the wall and it fell. Is that it is very old, billions of years that we don't know. He, he is saying this because of the trajectory. But he, he, how can scientists know? that it was billions of years ago that it was formed. They assume that because of the trajectory. But they can't confirm that to us. And if it's alien, something that it's ooh, a sin to say, if it's alien, they could send this from anywhere with this exact trajectory to make us believe it has billions of years. But it didn't have because it was sent by aliens this is the different hypothesis that is perfectly possible but they for some reason don't want us to know so the argument now is because it has billions of years and so much time through space it grabbed trash and that's why it has something like nickel without almost no iron that is only made industrially how can it be? Well, the new, the new argument. I don't buy that. And everyone's talking about it. I was on the airplane the other day and overheard some people talking over my shoulder. And sure enough, they were talking about the comet too. Did you, did you pop your head over the seat and say, hi, I, I'm Dr. Michio Kaku, one of the foremost experts on this. And this is my opinion. No, I did not say that, <laughs> but I would gladly have given them my opinion. Yeah. It is a 7 billion year old comet, and that's why it's different. It's different from other comets. Comets in our solar system, for example, are maybe only 3 to 4 billion years old. This one is a very old uh, uh, comet, and as a consequence, it has plenty of time to accumulate garbage, and that's one of the characteristics of this comet. It has uh, nickel, iron uh, uh, content 
which is different from the average comet. Why don't you say that it has nickel iron and complete saying but the only way we have nickel without almost any iron is industrial production of that alloy intentionally not saying hiding that so the public for the second time look how they do the hammer stuff again for the second time the public put in there artifacts here inside the brain it's a comet it's very old that's why it's different because it's old guys when we have lack of data because they are hiding the only way i can complement that lack of data is by their behavior it's what i've been doing all these years bang bang with a hammer you know, we are still waiting on an updated image of this object from NASA. We see Representative Anna Paulina Luna sharing this week that it will not be shared un until the government is reopened. Do you make anything of this? Is NASA hiding something here? Sounds like it, right? I mean, what have they got to lose? I mean, it's only a sheet of paper. I mean, it's not like a top secret thing you put in a safe. It's just a sheet of paper. So what have they got to lose by, by announcing that they have this information? Because it, it fosters more and more speculation. And at a certain point, it becomes counterproductive. We, you, you've been closely monitoring 3i Atlas for months now. I'm he was talking about the pictures from high rise camera that it, are pictures from the mass reconnaissance orbiter that NASA has, that are in Arizona University, and they are. Always with a shutdown argument, uh, that's why they didn't release that. And that's not true, because they didn't release the psych probe pictures as well on the 4th of September, one month before the shutdown. I don't buy that. He's right when he says that the more they hide, the more speculation. By the way, excellent work from News Nation. Tracking these anomalies, some bizarre behavior. What are the odds that we're dealing with something not just old, but something that's extraterrestrial in nature? I think it's non-zero, but it's very small. Hmm. So far, it looks like an ordinary comet. It behaves like an ordinary comet. And except for these uh, a few anomalies... Sorry. It doesn't behave like an ordinary comet, as he's doing the hammer stuff again. This is typical. This interview is much worse than the previous one. What he's doing in this interview, it's not true. It feels to me, my gut says, it's scripted and it has an intention. It, it does act like an ordinary comment. And so I think it's really pointless to preserve secrets to keep things away from the American public. The public want to know. So the public want to know it's very beautiful. The public want to know, but he's not contributing for that. To say it's different than to do something for that. He was telling that it's an ordinary comet, insisting again, but he couldn't tell the interviewer that it was not alien. He just told us that it has a low probability of being an alien, but at least she could suck from him the probability. Okay, it's low probability in his opinion. Avi Loeb, meanwhile, out of Harvard, believes that 3i Atlas may be revving its engine. Any thoughts on that? Well, there's a possibility. You have to put uh, probabilities with regards to all the speculation. Uh, Avi Loeb was very careful later on to say that the probability of his speculations are quite low. And so we have to put this into perspective that these are guesses and as a consequence, they're not 100%. They're not 100%. These are hypotheses, not guessing. The same guess, if you call it a guess to Avi Loeb, it's the same guess to say that iron or a small amount of iron for that amount of nickel that is only known being industrial made, so from an advanced civilization or at least like us, humans it's not on nature anywhere only nickel with such an amount of iron which he hided from the interview he didn't tell that that is a guess as well 
what they are saying that it's a different star system or like now the new argument we didn't bite a different star system now the new argument is that it grabbed trash it grabbed trash that's why it's so different but it just said that the, it's not different from the comets it, something is off here guys very very off and to say it's not industrial and it was from trash that the uh, three atlas grabbed in space during all billions of years that they can't confirm it's a guess as well can you see this it's a freaking guess he can't explain that what trash what is trash the bin that i have at home no they can't explain that because it's only known to be made by humans nickel with such a small amount of iron that three atlas it's full of humans not nature what trash you see how they manipulate us okay it's it's viable man you can say it's trash but it's a guess don't call it something that is like scientific it's not it's manipulative it's propaganda added to the international asteroid warning network to prepare earth for a potential threat from beyond uh, we understand the object is is going to get as close as 167 million miles away from earth by december 19th that is just weeks from now is there any reason for us to be concerned personally i don't think so uh, i think it's quite a distance away uh, we're not going to be invaded by aliens from a hollywood movie set so i think that it's uh, it's harmless it's so far away that we're not going to be endangered so what he just said is that that uh, we are not in danger but that was the message the first message from nas and all the institutions it's a comet we are not in danger remember the videos for the, the unique video from nasa before the shutdown the lady was saying soon you will have the pictures there's no danger as it was the, our only question treating us like idiots Globe has really been out in front of all of this, a theorizing this could be extraterrestrial in nature. Perhaps this is a craft coming, doing some reconnaissance, just coming to check us out. What is your message to him? What do you have to say about his theories? Well, speculation is fine, but you have to quantify it. You have to say that what is the level of confidence on the speculation? A.V. Loeb said from 1 to 10, Dr. Michio Kako, I'm on the four. In a low ebb scale, since the beginning, it didn't change. Is it 100%? Is it 1%? Otherwise, you panic the public. And the public wants to know the truth. Because afterwards, if it turns out it was a false alarm, then there's going to be a public backlash. Otherwise, you will panic. So it's kind of a low is creating panic because he, he analyzes data from this object, the data that is released. He couldn't analyze yet the high-rise pictures because they don't release them. Otherwise, it's panicking. With all the respect, Mr. Kaku, in the previous interview, two days before the perihelion, as far as I remember, you were saying publicly that 3 I Atlas could accelerate and that will mean alien. That will mean it was intelligent. Man, something is off in all of this. Is there any indication some intelligence may be guiding this? So far, no. However, there's been some speculation that it seems to be speeding up a little bit as it goes around the sun. That's, but kind, remember, of, that's kind of concerning. Right. I mean, you, the, the quote was that that intelligence would be there if it sped up around the sun. No. And it did. To a slight degree, right. Very good work from News Nation. So she's confronted Michukako. So you said if it accelerated, it was alien, but it just did that to a slight degree. To a slight degree. Mr. Kaku, with all the respect, in a previous interview where you said that alien would be and intelligent as well, if it accelerated, question, won't it be better to say that, that only fits to a slight degree and explain that to the public, otherwise it could be creating panicking in the people two days before the perihelion, Mr. Kaku. Not now, after the fact, and retracting from what you said. Man, guys, 
seriously this is super super off here super off this interview and however there there are reasons why it could happen for example maybe the comet uh, broke a piece of it off it didn't break we just saw it the other comets yes we have pictures of them pieces of them it didn't break only jets jets in different directions like a spaceship you know to keep the the path uh maybe uh they, maybe there was outgassing of the comet there could be reasons that explain why there's a sudden spurt in velocity so the, that's not a smoking gun that doesn't nail it to the wall it's just one condition that we would use to guide us into thinking that perhaps there's intelligent life there, but it's not definitive. Yeah, what is the next thing that you are watching out for most closely then? What would be the smoking gun, nail it to the wall, other than of course it just landing? <laughs> and then, like you said, uh, some, some creatures crawling out from a Hollywood set. Yeah, well, I think uh, if E.T. phones home, that would clinch it right there. Is there anything, <laughs> is there anything more scientific than that that you'll be watching out for next in its trajectory? Well, if they try to communicate with us, you know, some kind of Morse code, some kind of um, language that we would understand, some mathematical language, for example, that would clinch it. Rather than getting static on a radio, getting, getting an alien civilization share their knowledge with us, that would nail it to the wall. Yeah, one more question on this before we... This is very important because he contradicts himself and what he's been doing all this time. Because he's saying that the only thing or something that could make he change his mind and say it's alien, this is super mainstream, man, would be some kind of Morse code, mathematical communication. So they would communicate. This was always the narrative of the mainstream, which I feel is super, super wrong. Because it's that example of the Voyager. We sent the Voyagers, right? And we have no control over them anymore in a few years. We can't listen, we can't speak with them, we can't remote control, nothing. It will be a ghost probe. And they can pass through an alien planet where aliens can watch our Voyager and it will be alien for those aliens. Because humans to another civilization, we will be aliens to them and if it doesn't communicate with them that means it's not alien but it is because it's our voyager we are aliens to other civilization there you see someone intelligent as dr kaku telling this is off he's not telling the truth for some reason it's off it's off, man. And another thing is that all this time, because I watch and listen to Michu Kaku for a long time, I respect him. And all these conversations in the past, Dr. Michu Kaku, about aliens, about the 11 dimensions that we can have in the universe, about the possibility of aliens being here with us, in a different level that we can't see and the example you gave as the fish is in the lake that are there the fish in the lake and they aren't aware of what it's above the water and we are watching the fishes but they are watching us because they aren't aware they aren't as smart all of those conversations Michukako that you had in the past they don't match with what you just said at all. So it makes us believe and speculate that you are scripting or you are scripted to do this interview or to give these kind of answers that don't match.